Welcome back to markets and macros. The, the markets really have moved no well. The Nifty is holding with a cut of nearly around 25 points odd. For a couple of stocks to pull up for you, BPCL as well as Coal India, they are seeing some pressure in the last half an hour. Well, we're seeing some buying interest come into the likes of uh, Lupin and uh, HUL. So some diversion moves on those stocks. A couple of them really losing out and, and some buying being seen in a couple of other stocks. But uh, let's get back to our uh, personal finance uh, corner. Harsh of of uh, apnapaisa.com joins us and our first caller is calling in from, from from Kerala. Uh, hello. Hello. Mr. Chandran. Hi, Chandran. Hi. My question is, I mean, should I be wary of chit funds? Mm -hmm. now, I was planning to put some money into the JSFE city here. Mm -hmm. It's quite popular here. Mm -hmm. All right. Risky. Okay, let me put it across to our expert who is in the studio. That's Mr. Rungta. What's your take on this one? Interesting query. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Chandran, I have heard uh, chit funds being described as cheat funds. Uh, I, I would, I mean, I think there is one clear economic principle. You cannot get high returns without high risk. So, uh, unless you are of the variety uh, who wants to really uh, take big risks and are conscious of the risks that you are taking, I, I would suggest you stay and completely stay clear of and steer clear of uh, chit funds. It is not for the uh, faint hearted. It does not matter that it has been going for quite some time. When it breaks, at that point of time, uh, any monies that you might have made in the past, uh, the chances of a principal loss are so high that any monies that you might have made over a couple of years will vanish uh, in one single transaction. It does not uh, mm. matter who the manager of the cheat fund is. I would suggest stay clear. All right, Mr. Chandran. Uh, well, that's a, a very firm answer for you. Uh, doesn't the government, in a sense, underwrite? Uh, uh, I mean, if the government is the manager, it is unlikely that the government will want to present itself as having defaulted. Well, it's not the manager who defaults. I mean, it is a group, and yeah. the group uh, pays into a kitty, and some person takes that kitty. Mm. Now, if the other group members don't pay, uh, the manager's liability is basically managing, not to pay for the. No, well, the state other has members. police powers, so maybe they will be able to strong arm the members into paying. Well, up. we've seen uh, we've seen scam after scam happen, mm. and uh, we've seen that okay. the so-called police powers haven't really helped investors recover their money. Fair point. Okay, we have another questioner, but actually this is an SMS query that we have got from Bhanu Pratap. He writes to us from Bikaner. Bhanu wants to know if he should consider investing in the new inflation index bonds. How do these functions, uh, these function, and are they really an alternative to gold? Well, I think uh, inflation index bonds are very interesting, and I think they are set to become even more interesting. Uh, Mr. Rajan has already announced that uh, uh, by the end of this year, we would have a CPI indexed uh, inflation index bonds. Currently, the current ones that are available are the wholesale uh, price yes. indexed bonds. The difference obviously is at the current stage, your CPI is much, much higher. Mm -hmm. And uh, for a consumer, the impact is the CPI. So really, when you want to look at a s investment that protects you against inflation, you want a CPI indexed one. Mm -hmm. The second big thing about inflation index bonds is the ease of availability mm -hmm. and the ease of uh, sale if mm -hmm. I want to liquidate. Mm -hmm. Even that I think has been mentioned by the RBI in the policy. So I would suggest extremely interesting. Let us wait and watch what happens. I think it is just mm -hmm. a couple of uh, weeks now. But definitely this is one area which every investor should be looking out for. All right, so that is another savings instrument that could come our way, the uh, CPI indexed uh, inflation bonds, which uh, will be sold any time now by the government of India. Well, we, uh, that brings us to the end of the show. We leave the markets pretty much uh, where they were when we began the show. It is about less than a half a percent cut uh, and there is some uh, decent recovery in some stocks as Nigel has been pointing out. Lupin, for instance, is showing signs of recovery. Uh, also decent recovery in the mid-cap stocks. Uh, they have not given up their gains at all. We will wrap up this edition of Markets and Macros on that note. Business lunch in a minute. MCX Stock Exchange, India's new stock exchange presents Markets and Macros.